Hello Funkies, how's everyone doing? Happy Tuesday. This is Mara with the Funky Spork. I thought for today we'd do something a little different and a little special and interview two really incredible friends of mine that I have here. I've got Heather and I've got Tarzan. And um, we're gonna chit chat a little bit about what they do and then we're gonna cook something special. But beforehand, um, let's get to know our friends. So, Heather and Tarzan run a company called Facha, and um, I just want to learn more about uh, who you both are and more about your company. So first, just tell us about yourself. Well, um, I'm Heather, and I am from the Tampa area, and we have been doing Facha for about a year now, I would say. Yeah. It's been about a year or so. And, um, you know, it still feels like a, it definitely is still a small business, but, you know, we're growing, we're learning, and we're expanding. Um, and, I don't know, personally, some things I really enjoy doing with Bacha is finding ways to incorporate food with our CBD products, which is what we're going to do today. And, um, yeah, that's just a little tidbit about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Tarzan. Um, yeah, I've been in um, Tampa for quite a few years now. Um, originally from Miami, uh, Miami, Florida, Hialeah specifically, a little bit north of Miami. Um, but yeah, I, I love Tampa, the Florida area. I've been uh, working with uh, Heather for with Bacha for for a little over a year now. Um, and yeah, I love I love doing what we do. Uh, we work a lot together on food and CBD, and uh, we bring people together for the, the purpose of, uh, of health and wellness. I love it. I love it. So you kind of touched on what Pacha was, but like I want to hear like what is Pacha? It's a beautiful logo, beautiful name, but like tell me like what is it? So Pacha comes from the word Pachamama, which means Mother Earth, and that's in Quechua, which is a language that's spoken in the Andes. So in the mountainous regions in the Andes, in Peru and Ecuador and Bolivia, a lot of people speak Quechua, and so um, we have South American roots, and we wanted to not only bring our roots into what we do because it's something that we're building, but we also want to pay tribute to Pachamama, to Mother Earth, because at the end of the day, this is where CBD, which comes from hemp, which is a plant where it comes from, the, the ingredients that we cook with, with the food that we make, everything, it really is kind of an all-encompassing word. And so we felt that it was a really fitting name for our company. So. It's Bacha. It's Bacha, Bacha Mama. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> what is CBD? Like, I'm here, like, that's such a buzzword. Like, I, you know, for those of you that may not be familiar with really what CBD is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of CBD, but maybe aren't really familiar with what exactly that means and what it is. So can you kind of tell us what that is? Yeah, uh, CBD is uh, short for uh, cannabidiol. Um, and that's a compound uh, that's found in hemp and also uh, marijuana um, that you know people smoke to get high or whatever. But um, CBD is specifically found in hemp that, that we work with, um, and that's just one compound out of like hundreds of compounds that uh, the the hemp plant um, and CBD specifically um, is is a great great uh, compound. That's a great source of a lot of different benefits. Um, that we can get into in a second for sure. Yeah, so you said CBD and marijuana. Oh my god. I like it. So is, <laughs> is CBD the same thing as marijuana? Like what's the difference? So the difference is that CBD, that compound, is found in both hemp and marijuana, which those come from cannabis, right? But the difference is that where we get our CBD from comes from hemp, which is largely made up of CBD versus marijuana is made up of the compound which most of us are familiar with which is THC. THC is what gets you high. CBD does not get you high. While THC also could have medicinal benefits, it's really known for that that feeling of feeling high. CBD will not make you feel that way. In fact, a lot of people say it just makes them feel better and feel better for a number of reasons which you know we'll talk about. But yeah. the difference is that um, it has a completely different effect on your body and yeah. on your mental state and how you feel and um, yeah that's and that's why we focus on hemp because hemp is mostly CBD and 
very very small amounts of THC so small that you you won't even feel it you won't feel high at all that's really interesting mm -hmm. all right I learned some new things just now so like as far as CBD like so what formats does CBD come in is it like in the form of a pill or like oil like what you know how can you a lot yeah <laughs> okay yeah but when, but ultimately though, when CBD is extracted from hemp, yes, yeah. it's, it's in the form of oil. Okay, it's actually an oil, and so when it's extracted, it looks like a white powder. But yeah. it, let's say you add it to anything oil or fat based, it's gonna dissolve right into That's it because it itself is a fat. Okay, and so um, you'll see it in its purest form when it's extracted. It's gonna be in a powder form. But then it can also be extracted in a way where it looks like almost like honey and that's called a wax. Okay. And there's you know, once people really get into the the details or the the, the, the different methods of extractions, you're gonna have it looking different. It's gonna look different, it may taste different, etc. Um, but yeah, ultimately it's it's an oil. Oh, okay. You know, just kinda going back to C B D and hemp, like hemp is such a versatile plant and I don't think a lot of people realize like how much you can do with a hemp plant itself and I feel like I'm preaching to the choir but it's like incredible. correct me like you can make clothing out of hemp I've had hemp milk before yeah it's like yeah. a thing yeah, yeah. hemp bread um, you can make houses and like buildings out of hemp and it's just like it's just such a powerful plant it's a super plant it's yeah. a super plant. It's definitely uh, regarded as a miracle plant because yeah. it can clothe you, it can feed you, it can it get you, you know, feeling right. You know, yeah. like it, 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 it's a lot of different things. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. I think one of uh, one of the things that's overlooked as well is um, hemp seeds. Yeah. Um, like the seed itself is such high in proteins, has also omegas, you okay. know, high, high three, six, and nine. Yeah. It's high, high in uh, and fatty. Uh, the good fatty acids. Okay, yeah. so hemp. Like, what are some of the benefits of using either like hemp or specifically CBD? Like, you know, why why even bother? Why do some people get into it? Um, well, we've had our customers tell us for you know a number of different reasons why they're interested in yeah. trying our CBD products. They've uh, people have told us that they they're interested in in taking it to help curb their anxiety. Um, also, if they experience any sort of pain, um, and also as just a general health supplement. I personally learned of only when doing my research in regards to CBD is that all of us, including animals, we all have something called an endocannabinoid system, which okay. means we naturally already carry these receptors that bind with other compounds within CBD and other, and other compounds within cannabis we are basically naturally built to receive them which is why people have reported that it affects them so well mm. you know um and so interesting enough yeah we're like we're set up to receive it quite well it's a match made in heaven and that's also why um we carry uh, cbd products for pets we have cbd dog treats we also have a tincture drops that work for any pet cat dog mm. your gerbil whatever type of pet you have because you know like i was saying they also have an endocannabinoid system yeah. which is also beneficial and for them they can benefit from it yeah, so. exactly a lot of people like to give their dogs you know cbd dog trees especially now in the summer with all the thunder and the lightning you know around like fourth of july or new year's with the fireworks you know to help them because you know how they can get really scared yeah and just viewers just as a disclaimer do not take any part of this interview as any kind of substitution for you seeing your doctor or medical provider but it's just information so just keep that in right. mind fyi always consult your doctor always always all right so um stick around and um get ready to get hungry